Um, we are beginning a program today which will certainly grow into something larger and larger, and that is a community contact tracing program. We've done contact tracing all along. That a contact is a person who's been exposed to someone that we document to have the COVID infection. When we find someone who has a COVID infection, those people are immediately isolated. But we also work with them to figure out who their contacts were. Uh, but the purpose of this program is to bring on people. We may bring on up to 50 or even more as the program grows and as we see the needs for it. As we do more testing, we will find more and more people who have COVID-19. And again, we'll isolate every one of them and we will find every one of their contacts and we will make sure that they stay quarantined and we'll check in with them every day. We're going to do a more complete job and we're going to do a more meticulous job of making it less and less possible for others in the county to run into someone with COVID-19 infection. It's not just our county. There are going to be thousands of, of people hired who will be these contact investigators throughout the state. And this is occurring in many, many other states as well, perhaps all of the states in our country. Um, we will be giving intensive training to these people, identifying and finding contacts. Some of the people we find are going to have trouble being isolated. For instance, if they live in a home where there's only one bathroom and there are three or four other people living there and those people don't have COVID infection, we're not going to be able to keep the person in that home. Every person who we're isolating, for instance, needs to have uh, their own bathroom. And so we'll be moving people like this into other kinds of housing that we have available.